Welcome and thank you for joining us. Today we're excited to show you the limitless potential of peak lighting. It definitely is smart lighting for your outdoors. The LED lighting system can be used on your aluminum railing or for other interior or exterior projects around your home. Simply install the product, download the peak lighting app and add character to your home. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, let's go. Now we're going to show you the components of each kit. Your LED starter kit includes everything you'll need to set up your system, including a power supply, Wi-Fi controller, extension cable, and a 19-foot, 6-inch LED strip. The LED extension strip comes with a splitter cable and an additional 19-foot, 6-inch LED strip. This extension strip is ideal to extend your starter kit. For even bigger projects, you can purchase multiple LED starter kits and extension strips and then group them together within the Peak Lighting app to act as one. Finally, you have the LED strip holder kit, which includes everything you need to mount your LED strips to your railing system, including three left end brackets, three right end brackets, three left end caps, three right end caps, three strip holders, three covers, one hole drilling guide, and 18 self-drilling screws. To mount your LED strips to other surfaces, for example fences, the edge of a deck, or along your gables, you will only need to use the LED strips, covers, and self-drilling screws. Before you get started, planning and layout is pretty key. It is. It's important to measure the length of railing that you want to install the LED system into. And keep in mind where your power outlet is and plan your system around that accordingly. It's actually quite helpful to refer to the installation guide that can be found in the LED starter kit. In the inside panel, there is a great chart that you can follow. It talks about the different components you'll need and the number of kits you'll need to complete your railing sections. Yep. Before you begin, it's important to check all the components to make sure everything's working properly. So to do that, we'll connect everything and see if it turns on. We'll begin by connecting the power supply to the Wi-Fi controller. Looks pretty easy. Next, we'll connect the Wi-Fi controller to the LED strip, taking care to align the plugs in the correct direction. Finally, we'll connect the power supply to the power source. Wow, that looks pretty great. Okay, but what happens if the lights don't turn on right away? If the lights don't come on right away, you can reset the Wi-Fi controller by holding down the reset switch for 10 seconds. After releasing it, the lights should blink and then come on. All right, that looks great. Should we get started with the installation now? Yep, yeah. everything's working. Let's get it installed. The tools required for the installation process are the following. A measuring tape, a pencil, a miter saw with a non-first metal cutting blade, a drill, a quarter inch and half inch drill bit, a Phillips number two bit or screwdriver, a socket or wrench set, a small round metal file, and scissors. And also, since we will be cutting the LED strip holders, it's important to wear safety goggles and gloves. Now that you know what tools and components you need, let's bring some color to your home. So the first thing to do is to measure the length of the handrail between post sleeves for each railing section. All right, so that looks about 54 and 5 eighths. Obviously, I've only measured one section, but it's important to do this for each section prior to cutting the strip holders and covers to length. Now that we've taken the measurements of the railing sections, we're ready to cut the LED strip holders to the correct length. First, begin by removing the plastic cover from the LED strip holder, setting that aside. Next, peel back the protective film uh, far enough for the area you need to make the cut. Um, now we'll measure the distance of the cut. In this case, it'll be 54 and 5 eighths of an inch. All right, and then make a mark on the aluminum all right now we'll cut it all 
All right, now that we've cut the aluminum holder, we'll cut the plastic cover for the uh, channel. For this, it's important to use the scissors since they'll cut the plastic properly. All right, uh, and then repeat that for the rest of the sections and you're ready to begin installation. Before fastening the strip holders to the underside of the handrail, it's important to determine what side of the handrail you want to put the strip holders on. Yeah, you can put them on the inside to light up your deck area. Or you could put them on the outside of your handrail for the exterior of your home. It'd be great for holidays or any other events that you're holding. Yep. All right. Let's begin. Okay. Actually. All right. Now we'll install the LED strip holder using the number six by three eighths inch self-drilling screws provided. It's important to remember not to over tighten the screws and if your drill has a clutch, uh, set it to the lightest setting so they don't get stripped. Now that we have the strip holder secured in place, it's time to drill holes into the post so we can feed the LED strips through. Yeah, and we're going to use the hole drilling guide to uh, ensure we drill the holes in the right location. Using the hole drilling guide, you'll notice there's a small hole and a large hole. The small hole is a quarter inch hole to uh, act as a pilot hole and the larger hole will be the half inch hole for the LED to pass through. We'll first align the quarter inch hole with where we want the hole to be on the post. So we'll seat the drilling guide onto the post like this, ensuring it's fully pushed against the post. Next we'll slide it up, ensuring these legs contact securely with the post sleeve. Now we're ready to drill our first hole. Now that we've got the quarter inch hole drilled, we need to rotate the drill guide by removing it from the post, turning it 180 degrees. Now put it back onto the post and slide it up. Now the half inch hole is aligned with the hole that we've previously drilled. Now, we'll be, now we will drill a half inch hole in there for the LED strip. Okay. All right, once the hole's drilled, you need to use a small round file to clean up any of the sharp burrs left behind. Before installing the LED system on the railing itself, it's important to mount the power supply and the Wi-Fi controller in a cool, dry place. Yeah, a good place for this can be on a beam under your deck. To begin feeding the LED strip through, we'll need to remove the post uh, of the first section being lit. And to do this, we have to unfasten the base roll support and actually move it towards the post for support. So now to remove the post, it will remove the bolts holding it to the deck and the screws holding it to the hand and base rail. Once the fasteners are all removed, we'll slowly and gently slide the post off of the hand and base rail. And it's important not to lift up on the hand rail while the posts are removed. Otherwise, the infill can actually fall out. Now that we have the post removed off of the hand and base rail, we're ready to insert the extension cable. This comes out of the LED starter kit. However, if you have a dual LED strip application, you'll use the splitter cable that comes out of the extension strip kit. All right, so what we simply do is insert the extension cable through the post base all the way till it hits the end of the post. 
If you're doing a dual LED installation, you'll use the splitter cable and feed one end into the post base, followed by the second end into the post base. Let's feed the connector end of the LED cable through the hole in the post and bring it out through the post sleeve where the extension cable runs. All right, so now do you connect these two together? Yeah, so now we connect the LED cable and the LED extension cable together. Perfect. And if you have any access wiring, you just feed it right back into the post. So now we're going to reattach the post back onto the deck. But before we do this, we're going to determine how we're going to feed the extension cable from the post base out to the Wi-Fi controller. That's right. And since this is a hard surface deck we're working on, we're going to run the cable out through one of the side notches in the post base and not drill through the deck surface. All right, let's get started. All right, now we'll install the end bracket by inserting the LED strip into the bracket and attaching it to the post with the existing fastener. Now repeat the end bracket installation for the remaining posts, keeping in mind that the left and right end brackets are different, and be sure to not to over tighten the screws. Now I'm back for the fun part. It's time to feed the LED strip through the railing system. But before we do this, there's a few things to note. Gently file the inside of the hole, as mentioned before, just to make sure there's no burrs cutting into the LED strip. And also make sure the LED lights are facing downwards before feeding the strip through. While feeding the LED strip through the railing system, ensure you're using both hands to gently guide the strip through. Ensure you're not pulling or pushing the strip, as this may damage the strip. Starting with the first section, we'll feed the LED strip into the LED strip holder and secure in place using the cover. As you work your way along, you'll hear the cover click into place. Any excess LED strip can be fed through the post into the next section. And now for the final step, it's time to clip in the end caps into the end brackets. Just repeat this step for the remaining sections, and we're done. Good job. Good job. Thank you for joining us for the Peak LED Lighting System installation video. And to learn more on how to operate your LED lighting system with your Android or Apple device, log on to led.peakproducts.com to learn more. And have fun. Thank you.